Coach, congratulations. You got a good chance to play Roanoke again for uh, the regional championship tomorrow at 10 a.m. Your thoughts on today's game against McDaniel? Well, I knew whether it was Salisbury or McDaniel, we're going to be in for a tough game. Uh, you know, the both teams are. You know, I didn't know much about McDaniel coming into this weekend. Uh, we knew Sal Salisbury is very tough, and after watching McDaniel, we know, <laughs> you know they're a very, very good team and um, you know, a good, strong pitcher. And I, you know, it's you know after playing them today and seeing seeing them this weekend, they, you know, they um, did an outstanding job and it's a, you know tough team and that pitcher, you know, is very talented, but you know a lot of a lot of determination from her. So we know we're going to be in for. Her. Um, a tough battle either team, and you know we knew you know, what we had to do, you know, to try to you know, have a you know good chance of putting the runs on the board that we needed to against her, and uh, just doing a lot of pitches this weekend. So we just tried to you know just really deal with the approach that we ended up went with, whether it was our first game against her or last, you know, or today, and just to really just you know try to be selective and shorten up and, and try to put the bat on the ball, and um, you know, that's. Main, or really our main approach against them. Christina, the bats weren't really working much this morning. What did you guys do between games to get heated up? I mean, we just knew that we needed to hit, obviously. That wasn't something we were doing. Um, we just relaxed. We didn't really do anything different. We just made sure we kept hitting and swinging the way that we know we could. You got some help uh, in the field. Kelly made yet another terrific catch out there today. You've uh, been patrolling left field uh, and making highlight reel catches. Uh, Getting comfortable out there here in the tournament? Yeah, I love it out there. It's my favorite thing to do. I like to make things interesting, so I like diving a lot, so I do it as much as I can. So You girls got to see uh, Caroline Brown throw a bunch for McDaniel this weekend. What are your impressions of their uh, sensational freshman? I think awesome. she's awesome. <laughs> as a freshman, I mean, she's got a lot of talent. I mean, it takes a lot of talent and a lot of drive. She pitched 14 innings yesterday, or 15, I don't even know. And she pitched again today, a whole game today. I think she's sensational. And as a freshman, she's got a huge career ahead of her. I think that's awesome. So we were lucky enough to watch her a couple times yeah. and know what we needed to do and work on that. When you see a team that is on the run that McDaniel was on and having both the good play and the luck to some extent, does that give you any pause facing them? Or did that make it even bigger to have the five run pitch in there going into the late inning? Definitely. I mean, they're a comeback team. Um, we know that's yeah. this, obviously, um, in the last game they played with Salisbury. So, one, I mean, going on top of them, that wasn't enough. We needed to keep going. Um, we needed that cushion, and it was it was easy to relax a little bit after we had. Yeah. We still had to take, stay so tight. Obviously, obviously, they were still coming back. So. <laughs> Uh, Coach, uh, certainly I'm sure not the way y'all envisioned it ending, but uh, what a, a terrific run here in the Newport News Regional. And would you mind sharing your thoughts on uh, today's games and uh, you guys, your team's performance? Well, I'm very, first of all, I'm very proud of the girls and the young ladies that uh, the way they poured their hearts out today. Uh, you know, game one, they fought back. I mean, Salisbury is a very great program, and, uh, you know, they're a solid team and a good pitching and everything. We battled back. I mean, you know, it hit a walk off grand slam with two outs, you know, in the bottom of seven. Uh, I'm sure uh, yanked their hearts out, but, uh, you know, kept ours pumping. So uh, we were excited about that. Uh, Amy did a good job on that, you know, keeping the inning alive. Uh, Lauren uh, did a great job there. Two outs, a great at-bat. Found a lot of pitches off, and uh, Amy found a lot of pitches off, found what she could handle it, and parked it over the right field fence. So uh, that was great. I mean, that kept us going. You know, Caroline pitched well. Um, so did Rachel for Salisbury, but uh, unfortunately someone has to lose, and uh, I'm glad Caroline won. <laughs> uh, game two, uh, we knew we had our hands full of uh, CNU. Um, another great team to play back-to-back -back teams like that, you know, ranked 17th and 10th in the nation. Uh, our girls battled. Um, you know, we fought through some things, and uh, but uh, the girls did well. Uh, Caroline came out and pitched well, and our girls uh, continue to um continue to battle. I'm very proud of them. They've had a great season. Uh, they did uh, very well in the conference playoffs and getting down here. You know, our goal to come down here uh, was to go as far as we can. And uh, I guess it's as far as we can go, and uh, we're happy for that. Well, and you mentioned at the end of game one, and uh, Amy, you want to talk a little bit about that at bat and how that uh, came to um, came to be? Honestly, the only thing that was going to do was just get a base hit. 
get a base hit, get at least two runs in, keep us going. I wasn't planning on bombing it, really. <laughs> I didn't plan on that at all. I just wanted to get a hit. No, it, uh, the, uh, and then certainly, I guess, uh, the adrenaline rush of that helps you guys play, uh, I guess, back-to-back -back games. Carol, and, uh, you know, 14 innings yesterday, 14 innings again today, and um, uh, I guess speak a little bit uh, about, um, you know, your experience here the last couple of days and being able to take uh, go into the circle each and every day. Well, the, the experience here was great. I mean, I love playing just softball in general, but especially with this team, I mean, it would never be the same because our seniors are gone. They're going to be missed, so we love them. Hey, Jennifer, you knew what you had in her coming in. Did she surprise even you with what she was able to do, or were you looking forward to getting her sort of a larger stage to kind of show her off a little? Um, uh, we knew Caroline uh, would be able to help the program. Um, we knew we had good senior leadership uh, coming in uh, this year. Uh, we had a good core group of girls coming back. Uh, Caroline helped us uh, with that missing piece of the puzzle. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think she even surprised herself. Um, you do what she did, leaving nature and strikeouts and uh, performing the way she did, especially, you know, we play some really top teams down in Florida, Illinois, Wesleyan, and Montclair State, and Rowan, some really good top 20 teams um, to help us prepare uh, for tournaments like this. And uh, we're just blessed to be here and to play against competition like this. And it gives us something to build on, it gives her something to build on, uh, gives our underclassmen something to build on. Our seniors uh, left us a nice, uh, I guess package that we got to try to continue to build on, and um, I'm glad they restored the tradition back to uh, McDaniel. Lauren, talk about that uh, tradition, what y'all accomplished this year—30 wins and matching a school record. You want to talk about uh, what that means to you as a senior? Well, I definitely think we exceeded our goals, um, to what we had set for this year. But uh, I, the thing that makes me the most proud about this team is that, especially when we got here, no one knew who McDaniel was. It was like, who's McDaniel, where are they from? But now they know, and we got the respect back that we've been wanting to gain back for years. We are McDaniel, we're here, and it's not going to change. And this is just a stepping stone for the classmen. We're going to be back, and we're going to be better than ever. So I'm really proud of the team. It's, the best. it's more than I could have ever dreamed of, really. So I'm, I have no worries, really, about this season.